Hey guys and welcome back to one of my flight attendant vlogs. Today it's gonna be a special vlog because we're gonna do something really amazing. Something I've never done before. Today we're going to Chicago. You guys know I've been to Chicago a couple of times before. But today I'm gonna be working in first class. So before actually getting my special training back in May, I wasn't even allowed to work in first class. And now I actually am allowed to work in first class. So my airline has special trained first class flight attendants and everyone who was hired sometime after July 2016 has to do some special training in order to get a pay raise. And part of this training is actually the first class training but I'm not a specified first class flight attendant I could apply to be one but I don't want to do that because it would just mess up my schedule and right now I can get most flights that I want to get so I wouldn't want to mess with my line in order to work in first class you know but today is my well basically it's like a training flight in first class so it's gonna be operated on our Airbus A340-600 which is one of my favorite planes and let's do this. I'm excited. I think the flight time is probably going to be like something like 9 hours and 30 minutes. Maybe 9 hours. I'm not sure. Haven't been in Chicago in a while. So yeah, we can do it, right? Wish me luck. We made it. I finally got here to the hotel in Chicago and honestly working in first class was awesome. I'm gonna tell you more about it later but right now I need to hurry because I'm meeting the rest of the crew or a few of the girls from my crew in like five minutes downstairs because we want to see if we can catch the fireworks because today is the 4th of July. I know this video probably won't be up until like probably August but still it's the 4th of July today. So today was awesome, the crew was amazing, the passengers were so nice and friendly and it's just been a great day. I'm gonna show you my room really quickly and then let's go and see if we can see some of the fireworks because it's already 9 p.m. here, which means it's, uh, wait, 9 p.m. here means 4 a.m. Austrian time, yay! <laughs> let's start with the bathroom. Huge mirror, nice and huge shower. And uh, the room itself is sort of small, but it's fine. It'll do. The bed does look comfy. I like the headboard. And now the view is not too bad. Like I can see down. I think that's Michigan Avenue right down there. just got back we actually saw the fireworks at Navy Pier so stupid me actually forgot her camera inside of the room so I tried to take a couple of video clips on my cell phone I'm not sure how well it worked because my cell phone is it's old it doesn't have the best video quality but I'll try to insert them I have to get them onto my Mac which is not that easy either because I've got an Android phone and a Mac computer but anyways oh, I'm so tired I'm just gonna take a shower now. I'm like, you, you can see I'm like really flushed cause it's so hot outside. It was almost like 30 degrees Celsius outside, which means it was about like 85 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit and it's 10.30 PM. So you guys can figure. I thought this was like the windy city where it's always cold, but not today. It's very humid outside and I'm not used to the humidity. And I just wanna go to sleep. Good night guys. I got a seriously good night's sleep because honestly I slept until almost like 7 a.m. which is not bad because the time difference is 7 hours so Chicago is 7 hours behind Salzburg so hence there is a 7 hour time difference so for that I am really glad because I really needed that sleep and I'm just about to meet one of my colleagues for breakfast we said we're gonna go out and grab something I don't know if you're gonna sit down or get something on a go, I'm not sure. And then another colleague wants to come to the lake together with at least me. I'm not sure if my other colleague's gonna come there too. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> so anyways, I told you guys that I would tell you a little bit more about first class. So my airline actually has first class, business class, premium economy class, and economy class on long haul flights. 
So that means that first class is the most exclusive thing and then it's business class and then premium economy class and economy class pretty much. So first class tickets are the most expensive ones and I've had like serious stars on board who were flying. What are those sirens? Oh man, Chicago. Like Michigan Avenue or also it's called the Magnificent Mile. I think it's right down there. So anyways, so I've had serious stars on board who were mostly flying first class I think so I've had a super famous Austrian on board once I also had one of the high school musical stars on board once so I got to see them I actually got to greet them like during boarding I got to actually greet passengers in first class a couple of times on the A34600 not on the A380 but on the A34600 and yeah so that's the plane I was flying with yesterday and my airline has eight seats in first class so you'll have two flight attendants one will actually manage the galley and the other one will do service and everything for eight passengers and I know it sounds like not that much work but believe me it is because actually you start with this thing that's called an amuse bouche it's actually just a little greeting from the chef pretty much and it's not gonna be on the menu you you'll just hand it to them and explain what it is and with that you obviously ask for drinks so you want to know what do you want to drink and stuff and in first class we have like champagne and you can get everything pretty much and then we do like hot towels and stuff and in first class it's like real towels it's not like those deposable ones it's just like real towels and then there is caviar so we'll have one of our it's not like a trolley it's more like it's like a different sort of cart. It kind of looks like just like a table that you can move because it has wheels and you have caviar on it and then you actually have your appetizers so they can choose between three different appetizers and a side salad and they can have all of that if they want. So then there is sometimes it's a soup or it's a sorbet and yesterday it actually was sorbet and then you actually serve the main dish so I think they can choose between like four different main dishes and then it's dessert and I think there were like three choices of dessert so we've got a cheese platter so we cut those cheeses ourselves so we've got the full thing and we just cut it it's really nice they're really really good I ate a lot of cheese yesterday and um, then we had one sweet I think it was like or was it four different desserts now, I think it was three then we had something that was like an iced dome so we do have ice cream on board and then we actually served um, a fruit platter was it a fruit platter pretty sure it was <laughs> and then we have the stein on demand so basically in first class everyone can eat whenever they want so if they decide to eat at the same time it's really nice if they decide to eat like one of them decides to eat at eight the other one wants to eat at nine and stuff like that it's fine as well obviously it just takes a little bit more planning so i was the flight attendant working inside of the cabin so i was doing service and my colleague was actually managing the galley so it was really nice it worked out so well and i've been rambling on for so long but i feel like this is something you guys probably want to know because i got a lot of questions about like business class when i worked there and stuff and so i figured you might want to know about first class as well so i hope you enjoyed this little input into first class i need to get ready now in order to meet my colleague downstairs in like 10 minutes and then Today I'm not gonna forget my camera, I think. <laughs> not like yesterday with the fireworks. I was so mad at myself, like why did I forget my camera? But oh well. Let's see what we're doing today. I'm gonna have to go to Trader Joe's because I need to pick a few things up for a friend. They have this everything but bagel seasoning, I think that's what it's called and she wants that. So I need to get that for her. Let me know if you have heard of that seasoning before because I've heard of it but I've never tried it. But I've heard that it's good. Let's just... Let's just see what this day brings.
We just got back from breakfast at Whole Foods. It was really good. Like they have this buffet kind of thing. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? And I just chose whatever I wanted. I had some fruit. I had some turkey. I also had some scrambled eggs and stuff. And then I just bought this right here at Trader Joe's. I was just craving fruit. It's so hot and humid outside. Like, oh my gosh, I think humidity levels are up at like 80%, which is not that low, right? And I'm just gonna head down to the pier right now. I think I'm just gonna walk over to Navy Pier and then I need to get back here because I have to sleep before the flight back. I wanna try and catch like two hours of sleep or something. And also, I actually need to work on some stuff because I'm editing a video and I have to finish it because it's supposed to be uploaded tomorrow once I get home because we only have like 24 hours here, which is fine. But still, I've got a packed schedule pretty much. <laughs> It's so hot and humid outside. Oh my gosh, I'm a hot mess. <laughs> Anyways, I just bought some snacks for later before the flight. Some sushi, obviously, and now I'm just gonna work on a laptop for a bit to do some video editing. Just, I just have to like add music because I kind of edited the new vlog already. Like not this one, but the one that's gonna go up tomorrow. And I just need some water right now. I'm so thirsty and I'm just like so done. It's so hot outside. Oh my gosh. Let's go back to Munich and let's work in first class again today. I'm here in first class, just waiting for boarding. Au bar. Hey guys, I got home alright, so the flight back was super fun, the flight time was really short, it was like seven and a half hours, which is really really short for a Chicago flight, and the flight back, I just loved working in first class, it's just so nice, and because not all of our passengers wanted to eat, I actually got done early, so I actually went back to economy class and helped them, because we are one team, you know, inside of the plane, so we're all working together. So if one class needs help from another class, that's what we always do. If one class gets done sooner than the other, we'll always be there to help. And like the flight back, it was just, I love working up there. And it went really smooth. I actually learned how they make like fried eggs and stuff in first class because they have like real eggs and everything. It's really, really good. It's really exclusive. And the salmon was really good for breakfast. Really, really good. And it's just really, really nice. And I actually gained a lot of respect for my colleagues who are working in first class permanently because before everyone was like, okay, they have eight passengers. But now I actually know how much work it can be. And I'm like, yeah, they have plenty to do because there are like so many service steps. And it's just, I really like working in first class, like I mentioned before. And I hope you guys got a little insight into what first class flight attendants are doing on a flight and how it works. And yeah, like I said, it was really fun and I hope that one of these days I'll get to work in first class again. Like I mentioned before, I'm not a certified first class flight attendant, but I am trained to work in first class. So if there's only one first class flight attendant on a flight, I can be the second one pretty much. That's what this training was for. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog and I'll see you guys next week. And yeah, I have something exciting coming up sometime soon as well. Because you guys know I do a lot of long haul flights, but sometime soon I'm actually going to go on a short haul trip again to a destination I've never been to and I'm super excited. So that's probably going to be up in like two weeks, just saying. I'm just like planning the future right now in case you haven't noticed. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.